EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Marchett here with your Outlook for March 29th, 2022. It is Tuesday, and it's going to be another cold day today, just not nearly as cold as what we had on Monday, where many areas saw record low high temperatures. And uh, some of those records stood for a very long time, uh, the ones that were broken. Uh, for example, Philadelphia tied that record, and that was that's a record that stood for 145 years. So it was impressive cold yesterday. Today we're going to start climbing out of it a little bit, uh, and it's going to be warmer than yesterday by about 10 degrees, but it's still going to be colder than average, certainly. 38 to 44 is the spread of temperatures from northwest to southeast today. And then we nudge up a little bit more on Wednesday, and even more so in a big way on Thursday, but Thursday's not all it seems to be, and I'll get to that here in this video. Uh, first and foremost, our Tuesday video forecast is sponsored by J. Evans Property Services, serving York, Lancaster, Chester, Berks, Lebanon, and southern Dolphin counties in Pennsylvania and also northern Maryland. It is spring now, of course, and if you're looking for quality work at competitive prices from a family-owned business, J. Evans Property Services is your way to go. They offer premium landscaping, sod installed, drainage solutions, and landscape design, as well as residential and commercial complete property maintenance. Right now, they have a 10% off promotion on any landscape install or mulching when scheduled now through April 15th. You can call or text to the number above me or the email address above me. Here in the video, or schedule an estimate through their website at landscapingcontractorslancasterpa.com. They are J. Evans Property Services, proud sponsors of the Tuesday video forecast. So again, coming out of it today, mostly sunny skies. We're going to have a clouds increase tonight as a warm front moves toward the region. Here's our system yesterday uh, that is in process of moving away today. There is high pressure sitting over here. It's hard to see, but there's a big high sitting over top of the region today momentarily uh, that's going to give you the mostly sunny skies today and kind of stable things out a little get things a little bit more stable uh, the wind gusts are still going to be around today not nearly as high as yesterday either uh, no snow showers today no snow squalls uh, but we're going to have wind gusts that are generally 10 to 15 with some occasional gusts 20 to 25 today so that will make it feel a little bit colder but again not nearly as bad as yesterday then this uh, warm front is going to move toward our region as we move this forward this is going to be uh, a lot for lot clouds to increase overnight and then this warm front has a little bit of moisture with it, not much. So we have just an isolated shower in the forecast for uh, Wednesday morning. But some areas in the interior could have a little bit of a wintry mix. This is not going to be a big deal as we go over the name high res future simulated radar and start this off at 8 a.m. You can follow the timestamp right here in the video. And I move this forward. This is just very light precip. So it could be a few snowflakes, a couple sleep pellets. That's it. Not really accumulating anything. Uh, this is going to move off to the north and east and continue to fizzle as it, as it does so uh, and moves uh, north of the region by Wednesday afternoon. So we're going to have the warm front following that. And that's going to come through in the evening and overnight. So temperatures overnight Wednesday night are not going to drop down nearly as much as they're going to be tonight. And then uh, on Thursday, we're going to see a substantial rebound in those temperatures okay is more on the opposite side of this front here and we get in this what we call the warm sector in between fronts so this setup is such that we have a uh, big area low pressure uh here in the great lakes that's the primary low uh the warm front of course is standing out from this is out here this is looking at overnight on wednesday night cold front is back here along that cold front you have another little wave of low pressure that's going to be our actually our weather maker uh, here on Thursday, not the one that's up here in the Great Lakes. Okay, that's the primary load starting things off initially. Okay, uh, when this moves forward and moves toward us, this cold front it's associated with this is going to be coming through the region. Now, Thursday is going to be a mostly cloudy day. It's going to be much warmer. Temperatures are going to be in the 60s, mid 60s, all the way into the low 70s, depending on where you're at from northwest to southeast. So it's going to be a very warm day. This is a synoptically driven warmth situation but it's not like break out the shorts and the suntan lotion because you're not going to see much sun here you might see you might not see any at all in some places here on on thursday so it's going to be uh, a cloud dominated day there could be a few showers around in the interior at least early and as this low pressure that was along that boundary moves through areas south and east of that low track there will have the opportunity for potentially some strong to severe storms and the threats here primary severe mode on this is going to be um straight line winds okay there is the opportunity for a an isolated spin up here weak tornado that is possible south and east of that low track but uh figuring out exactly where that track is going to be is still something we have to do because this uh depending on what you're looking at here uh there is a a certainly a shower and thunderstorm 
regular thunderstorms uh, possibility with this. That's actually a likelihood, okay? Uh, whether you get severe weather out of that remains to be seen. There will be a co-located jet with this that kind of aligns itself with the front and screams over the area like this in this direction. So it's going to be running parallel to the front, and you'll have an increase. So winds, winds you go up into about, you know, three, four, five thousand 5,000 feet above the ground, the wind uh, speeds there are about 50 to 60 knots, okay? So it won't take much to bring some of that down to the surface at a minimum. So there will be a windy concern here. Uh, on Thursday, whether these are severe or not. You're going to have some gusty winds as that kind of line moves through here. And you have these scattered showers and thunderstorms going to move through in the overnight. Now, I don't have the NAM 3 kilometer in range yet, so tomorrow we'll have that introduced for the first time. We do have the long-range NAM, though, has that same thing with the warm sector, and it does have this area low pressure moving through. A little bit of shower activity, intermittent light stuff in the interior during the day here on Thursday, okay? Uh, but you do have showers around nevertheless, and then we get into... The evening, the severe threat here on the NAM is down near the southeast of I-95 near the Delmarva, and that's because it's southeast of this low track, which is right over eastern Pennsylvania. So uh, we'll keep an eye on this uh, for the severe weather aspect of it. I wouldn't get too crazy with it just yet until we get into, uh, you know, there's some shorter rain stuff, and then the three-kilometer NAM comes in a range. We have a better sounding idea of what we're dealing with, okay? Uh, there is a potential there, and the Storm Prediction Center has agreed with that idea that I outlined a few days ago that maybe we have some severe weather on Thursday while well, they agree with that, okay? So there is the opportunity for at least our southeastern areas to get into some of that. But we will narrow that down in future videos as we get a little bit closer. Uh, but beyond this system here, once we get past this system here, the uh, we're going to clear out here on Friday. Friday is going to be a partly cloudy and breezy day in the wake of that cold front. Temperatures are going to be back down in the 50s for highs and likely remain in the lower to middle 50s straight through the end of the forecast period, okay? So it's going to go down again, the temperatures are, but they're not going to be down to what we're experiencing now, okay? So it's not that low. Uh, generally, uh, lower to middle 50s across the region on either side of 50 in some areas further north, uh, but it looks like it's going to be a a uh, dry day here on Friday, mostly sunny on Saturday. Once we get to Sunday, this weak little short wave moving off to our south could produce uh, a few showers in our southern areas and mostly cloudy skies elsewhere for a time until this passes by. It's just a quick moving system. And then we're back to partly cloudy skies on Monday and, again, lower 50s for highs. So uh, we're just going to focus here on the next, next couple days here on this Thursday system just to see where the severe weather aspect, if any, is involved with this. Okay, it's still not a guarantee and what areas we're talking about. And timing is going to be a critical part of this. This is coming in very late uh, in the day, but most likely in the evening. And it could be even late evening for some areas when this comes in. I move this uh, forward here. I mean, this is, you're looking at uh, overnight here. Same thing is uh, with, with the NAM. This is looking at uh, 2 a.m. <laughs> when you could have some storms coming through the Delmarva, if this is correct. So again, I'm keeping an eye on that. Uh, but right now, the primary severe mode looks to be straight line winds. And whether you get uh, severe storms or not, you're still going to have some gusty winds when that front moves through because of that low-level jet being parallel to the front as it moves through. I'm EPA, WA meteorologist Bobby Marchus. That is your outlook for March 29th, 2022. Have a great Tuesday.